Baby rappers screaming, baby sticky seats with 50 ads and popcorn kernels in his teeth. There's still not one that he won't see, cause Doug loves movies! Oh, I've got... Uh, this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out because I've got hiccups. <laughs> so but I'm going to try to soldier through and see what happens. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. My name is Doug and I love movies. Coming to you once again from the UCB Theater in Los Angeles. Hiccup. It's Tuesday, June 11th, 2019. Just got back from the Cannabis and Cheese Tour where I saw lots of really cool name tags. So what have you got, L.A.? <laughs> One, two. Oh, that guy's got two. Three, four, five, six. We've got six name tags to choose from tonight. This is so exciting. <laughs> Also, this is one of those nights where, uh, uh, are you going to do the show? Is, is, uh, uh, okay. You're work study? Uh -huh. yeah. So you, you can take a seat, though. Just because you're work study doesn't mean you have to stand there. <laughs> yeah, and you can sit down. Anybody who wants a seat that's in the, in the building can have a seat. <laughs> yeah, once you get in the door, you know, go ahead and sit down. Um... <laughs> But uh, g good luck to those six name tags because I have three to four guests. And we'll, uh, we'll see because uh, one of the guests was arranged through a publicist and maybe there was um, uh, some sort of a mistake, uh, uh, you know. Maybe one of the guests is at UCB Sunset going, what the fuck? This is UCB. You know, that kind of thing. Doug Plugs, this Thursday, June 13th, I'm doing a stand-up show at Flappers in Burbank with three special guests. I don't know why you're laughing at Flappers in Burbank. Maybe it's the way I say it, Flappers. But I was going to do a residency at Flappers, and uh, it already feels like that's not going to happen. Uh... <laughs> We can't judge just based on Thursday, June 13th, but uh, it's going to be 8 o'clock with uh, great guests. Uh, Amy Miller, Erica Rhodes, and Lisa Delarios are going to be there. This Saturday, June 15th, I'm doing two shows in Hyenas in Dallas. Doug Loves Movies at 4.20 and Stand Up at, uh, I think, 7? And then Sunday, I'll be at Hyenas in Fort Worth at 4.20. Probably a bad idea to schedule a show on Father's Day in Texas. I think everybody, I think you're required to do whatever your father wants on Father's Day, and it's not going to be something fun. But, uh, you know, uh, come on down if seeing me with a very special, uh, small audience. <laughs> it's going to be special, small, intimate. Is the word I was looking for. Brooklyn, New York City, Pittsburgh. You're all getting Douglas Movies tapings in June. For all my dates beyond, for June and beyond, go to DougLovesMovies.com. That's DougLovesMovies.com. Yeah! Call it! Call it. Shh. <laughs> Prize bag. Oh, my goodness. Such good stuff. I got a poster from the Cannabis and Cheese Tour, signed by me eventually. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I'll get around to it. I also got a Douglas Movies t-shirt, Douglas Movies stickers, a Douglas Movies, uh, I mean, just a Doug Benson pin from our friends at Rockin' Pins. That's in the prize bag. Going to have more of those for sale at uh, my road shows coming up, plus more. Cannabis and Cheese Tour posters. Uh, I'll be selling at upcoming road shows. But included in the bag tonight, this is very special. A man gave this to me, and then he gave it to me. <laughs> I don't know how much of it he made himself. 
but it's a person. It's a bobblehead, but the bobble is a pot that's on somebody's head. And he made it for me because I'm a pothead. And then, and then, right, and then at the bottom it says IMDB. Because <laughs> I am DB. So, and he said to me, I was like, oh, this is so awesome. I might keep this. And he goes, oh, I wanted to hear you put it into a prize bag. So that's what it is. It's in a prize bag. Uh, and all that other stuff. Plus stuff brought by my three to four guests. <laughs> Let's get them out here. Please give it up for Randy Havens, Gianni Paolo, Steve Byrne, and Kate McCucci. Come on out, you guys. Find your way to a, uh, a seat, okay? We're gonna, we do have one empty chair. We're missing someone. We'll leave yeah. that one open for, uh, what's the expression? We'll save that for Elijah. I like to think Elijah would. Would cruise in and be like, hey, I'll be the fourth guest. I wonder what happened to this dude. I think he just has a, sh an, I didn't want to say a shitty publicist, but publicist that did not get the message. Did that happen that Elijah Wood didn't him. show up one time? <laughs> it is, it's funny you should say that because one time there was a possibility he might and so we held a seat for him and he never did. But there was an empty seat the whole show for Elijah. It was like waiting for Guffman. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was neat and, uh, and I, I see Elijah Wood all the time because he's always hanging out in Austin, Texas at film festivals and uh, I, you know, told he's done like a ton of other podcasts too. But oh yeah, no, just not this one, but like all of them. Well, because I <laughs> like not. I always ask him to do podcasts during film festivals, and he would rather go see a movie about some guy getting, you know, all of his parts cut off. I heard he the, did a podcast uh, during a movie. Yo, oh, yeah, he'll do he that too. Do this, yeah, if, but, if it's a know, violent I'm, enough movie, he'll watch yeah. it and podcast during it. But he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't available for me. Uh, but um, we do still have three guests, you guys, and yeah, let's uh, let's meet them individually. Uh, two of whom are on the show for the first time, but let's meet our, our regular first because uh, it's always great to have her. Is Kate McCucci, everybody? Hey guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, well, you know, listen to that crowd; they love you. <laughs> You're, you're a very popular guest on the show, and uh, it's always great to see you. Great to see you, and, too. And a strong competitor. Um, you know, I don't know. I, maybe. Some, sometimes. Depends, right? If it falls into your wheelhouse. Like yeah. tonight, it's all... Guys, how do you feel about this? It's all rom-coms tonight. Hell yeah. Just, just so that Kay will win. Maybe. If they're 90s rom-coms, I'll be in good shape. I'm just joking around. It's probably going to be action movies. And you're, <laughs> Dang it. You're, you're going to be... You're, you're screwed. But, oh, uh, well. <laughs> but I appreciate you being here. And I also appreciate, uh, for the first time ever on the show, longtime friend, hilarious comedian, Steve Byrne is here, everybody. Hello. Thank you. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> good. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Uh, you've got a very exciting project coming out that, uh, that this, the timing of this couldn't be better because I want to promote it. You directed a documentary about the great uh, comedian, magician, the amazing Jonathan. Yes. And what, when, how soon can people, she's so fucking excited. She, she'd watch it right now on her phone instead of this or during this if she could. How, how and when are people going to be able to see this movie? It's available right now, and it's on YouTube. I put it up there because Jonathan's such a... He was one of the first guys I ever featured for, and he was so kind to me early on in my career that when I had the opportunity and privilege to get to tell the story, um, when we finally got it done, the doc world, I guess, from what I'm learning, I've never made one before, is not... Um, it's not really profitable. So <laughs> I just said, well, the... Fuck it. I'll just put it on YouTube. So we just put it on YouTube and it's free. So you can just check it out. Always amazing. And 
just a few days, it's Oh, you've already seen crazy, it, yeah. Chelsea. Oh, you saw it? All right. She's already very excited from Thank having you. actually experienced it. And probably You're the one that hit wa- refresh. Probably will watch it again. Yeah. Over and over again. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, uh, what about, do you have to, are you talking about getting into theaters for like a week in New York and LA to qualify for like Oscar consideration, that kind of thing? Fuck no. No, 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 what? no. It's that, but it must be, it must be a terrific movie. He's such an amazing subject. He and is. You, you know, you, you know what you're doing. He's a fascinating subject. <laughs> but I, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't anticipate that. That it would, you know, I'd be get that kind of attention. Yeah. So I just, I just, just yeah, I did it. Know. It was a passion project, and I just Chelsea's going to start a campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar for and what's the movie called? Always amazing. Yeah, always amazing. Uh, for your consideration, <laughs> I'll start the campaign right now. Thank you, Douglas. I mean, the Oscars uh, famously ignore great documentaries, so let's make this one of them. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's make this, you know what I mean? You got to start talking about being snubbed. Yeah. Just talk about that all the time. Fucking Oscars snubbed us. The Oscars you know, is my Elijah Wood. You suddenly get a really nice... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. And then also joining us today for the first time, and I love when this happens, a, you know, a working actor in films and television, Netflix programs, who also is a fan of this show and just wanted to participate. It's Randy Havens, everybody. Hello. You also got to love the name Randy Havens. It sounds like, uh, you know, a sex spa. Uh, I, you know, like a series of all-inclusive sandals. Yeah. And by all-inclusive, uh, all-inclusive, I mean you can have sex with the sandals. I, I, saw, I read the comments section one time. That in an article that like I don't know I was cast in something and I and I made the mistake of reading the comments section and somebody was just like Randy Havens sounds like a retirement home for porn stars. So. Pretty sweet that that person that you're citing is really lame made the same joke I did. Uh, but thank you for being here and for, for being excited about this thing. You are in the current, everybody loves it, the current Godzilla film. Yeah. Godzilla, what's it called? King of the Monsters. <laughs> Godzilla. Is it Godzilla colon King of the Monsters? I don't think they mention his colon. <laughs> okay. It's just Godzilla comma or dash or something, King of the Monsters. I think it's just, you know what, let's just, let's let's get rid of colons commas oh period. i wish i just, wish it was just a series of like a, like just a thought poem that's the title of a film yeah godzilla monster city squash go <laughs> would be a great title for this movie yeah who's that who's that like indie pop lady from like the 90s Fiona Apple. Did yeah. she have like an album title that was just oh, like yeah. fifty words? Some crazy amount just of words all strung together. But but really, but she's a sane, talented individual. Let me ask you this. <laughs> what is your role in this new Godzilla film? Man who gets killed very early on. By Godzilla? No, by Tywin Lannister. <laughs> Why is he killing you? He's a bad guy and I'm a good guy. So in order to make him be a bad guy, he has to kill a good guy. What about Stranger Things? Were, were you were in Stranger Things? Yeah, I did that show too. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you play in that? I played the science, the middle school science teacher. That's right, Mr. Clark. Yes. Yeah. Very sympathetic character. He's a nice person. Yeah. I hope no one kills him. <laughs> oh, so that can you tell us anything about the next season? Nope. But he's in it? Yeah. You're in it? Uh-huh. Nice. That's very cool. Well, thank you for being here. And thank you to uh, Gianni Paolo for maybe considering appearing on the show, but ultimately not. Uh, he's in the movie Ma that's out now. People love it. Are you sure you're not just in the audience and you thought... Like maybe a publicist said, do you want to see Doug Loves movies? <laughs> so yeah, so I don't know why he's not here, but also we've got another show coming up here in a couple of weeks, so maybe 
Maybe he'll show up then for anybody who's disappointed that he's not here. Chelsea, are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> do you know that guy? No. No. Chelsea, can you do me... F- Let's lose that fucking attitude. How about that, huh? Uh-oh. We're going to have a nice evening. Thank you. Sorry, Doug. I just... I couldn't... I couldn't let I you be treated Steve, like I can't that believe you haven't been on the show sooner because I need enforcers on the regular. Thank you. <laughs> I need people to really come in and get these people in, <laughs> into shape. <laughs> fucking straighten up, everybody. I mean, it's an exciting night here at UCB. The, the, the previous show ended on time, so we're, we're on schedule. But I'll probably go along because I can't. I'm used to being late, so uh, it's all very confusing. But uh, there's an element to the show that I, I hope that Steve and uh, Randy get. I, I think you do, based on what's sitting in front of Steve. Uh, we'll start with you, Steve. What did you bring for the prize bag? Today? The prize I brought some Templeton rye. Uh, yeah, I got a case of it, and I th- when when I got the text that I'm supposed to bring a gift, I thought, well, I'll bring one of these. So that's perfect. That's right on brand with uh, Sullivan and Sons. <laughs> Your uh, <laughs> smash hit program. Smash on the uh, what was that? Uh, Snub, PBS snubbed by the Emmys. Were they snubbed? <laughs> Oh, we got. You guys snubbed, never yeah. picked up any Emmys. No, we were ad supported basic cable television in the summer. We got snubbed. It's shocking. All right. Well, yeah. see, there you go. So we'll get a campaign going for that. Thank you. And uh, and thank you for bringing. I mean, uh, people yeah. rarely bring a big big giant bottle of alcohol. So that's uh, somebody's going to be very excited to win that. And they're not going to deserve it. I'll tell you that. Wait till you see these name tags. <laughs> and Doug, where do I? Who do I get the receipt to? Just to get reimbursed. Oh, is this the, that pricey fuck of a it, bottle just keep it, of... Fuck it, just keep it. All right, it. It's thanks. Fine. Well, it. I, I appreciate fine. that. Uh, I paid for my parking, too, but fuck it. Just keep it. It's fine. You are, it's you're you're a very magnanimous individual. Thank you. <laughs> Randy, what do you got for us? I have a Believer, a game, box of bad advice, mixed up advice from messed up people. Oh, you know, one of these people is Louis C.K. Don't, you know what? Maybe don't take his advice. <laughs> oh, shit. There are, oh, yeah. That's. Did you get this at the gift shop here? No. Oh. No, no. This is. <laughs> this they have a gift shop sell, here? It would look like they would sell something like this that. This was from like on it. A, a store that said great gift store that I was walking past today. Um, so. Yeah, pass this over here and I'll just, uh, I'll get rid of it. But nice try. Yeah, burn it. Thank please. you for bringing. <laughs> For bringing something, but uh, yeah, this uh, this is an interesting uh, interesting game. Maybe <laughs> we'll see. Uh, what do you got for us, Kate? I have since we um, do comedy and such. I got a joke book for you called the Don't Laugh Challenge. Oh wow, that I'm willing to take that <laughs> challenge. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm just going to open up. Oh, and it's the Easter edition. <laughs> so it's all jokes that, you know, you try not to laugh, you guys. <laughs> and it's e- Easter based because that's such a deep well of amazing comedy <laughs> talking about Easter. So I'm just going to throw to a page here and just say one. Uh, why was the birthday cake sad? <laughs> why? Because that particular cake, Steve. I can't believe how stupid you are. (laughs) That cake was in tears. Uh, For fuck's sake. Let's do another one. You'll do better. Did you hear the one about the German sausage? Steve, it was the worst. (laughs) God damn it, Steve. Why did the boat sail have extra paddles? Why? It was an ordeal. <laughs> it was a goddamn ordeal. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry. Do you hear what I'm, I'm saying? I'm sorry. Fuck, I should have gotten that. How'd the new chef get his job? <sighs> <laughs> so How? Sick. He made he made the cut. <laughs> Those don't seem very eastery. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Is it's a like kind of a, a you know a treasure hunt book where you have to find the joke that's actually about Easter. I found one. Why earlier, can't dogs right? go shopping? 
Why? Can't find a parking spot. When is the best time to get a tan? When? Sunday. What's the best way to learn Braille? When? Get a feel for it, Steve. You really... I can't believe you don't know any of these. Aren't you a professional? I would say that's a pretty good challenge because I'm laughing a lot. Can I see that, though? Because right. I read it it's in the green room. It's hard to not laugh at those and this is the, You didn't do the Easter ones, though. The Easter ones are on the back. It says, oh, yeah? it says, Happy Easter to all the Christians. To the Jews, nice try. <laughs> that's, oh. that's, that's a joke. I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I wish, I wish they went that harsh. Oh, they got some knock-knocks. Knock-knock. Who's there? Pauline. Pauline who? It's Pauline with rain. Let me in. You have to work your voice around that one to Pauline make it's with Pauline with rain. <laughs> knock knock. Who's yeah. there? Pill. Pill who? Pillow fight. <laughs> then you and then you take a hatchet <laughs> and just fucking chop into somebody's neck. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, oh, I have a few more things. Yeah, I'm uh, sure you do. <laughs> Gar- Garfunkel and Oates kazoo and uh, a tattoo and a toothbrush. That's cool. So, All Garfunkel and Oates. Yes. Oh, that's and, nice. And you can have uh, these items will last you throughout the day. Yep. And I also brought a miniature um, shopping cart for when you have a few things to buy at the grocery store. That thing's adorable. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> That's Holy awesome. shit, look at that thing. Ow, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. I want to I wanna make a video of it. <laughs> Don't laugh, you guys. I, I want to make a video. I, I've, I've fallen in love with the slow-mo feature on, on the uh, uh, video on your phone. And this is going to make a great slow-mo video. It's going to be tragic. And exciting and su- just super fun. <laughs> I mean, Steve, seriously, look at that. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> it fucking fell. <laughs> Because I saw it happen, and then the video, I was like, there's no way it's going to fall. But then yeah, I saw it fall. I mean, it Holy did. shit, that was yeah. crazy. That's, Doug, that's fucking nuts. I love that. You're, you're an animal. Why do you have this, I, I bought a bunch of little things. I like little miniature things, and I kind of thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking internet ripoffs. Bigger miniatures than you expected. <laughs> It's a real problem in this country. <laughs> so hopefully we've addressed it tonight. <laughs> People will understand. Just paging one more time. Gianni Paolo. <laughs> if you're here, please be a guest. I got a question for each of you. We'll start with Kate. She's been here before, so she might know what's coming. It won't be so much of a hardball. Uh, what was the last movie that you saw? Today I watched L.A. Story. <gasps> for the first time ever? No, I watched it when I first moved here, but I didn't get it. And 18 years later, I watched it and I loved it. You got it. It's great. <laughs> Steve Martin. Steve Martin and Sarah Jessica Parker, Mary Lou Henner. Who else? Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker plays Sandy with a heart over the uh, eye. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's a... I did, I don't think it works entirely, but I would like to watch it now just to see like how much of it is uh, kind of uh, forward thinking or prescient or whatever. I thought it, I mean I like the fantastical elements of it. It's like it's such a weird movie, but I liked it. All right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and I watched the Doctor Ruth documentary on Hulu. Has anyone seen it? It's really good. <laughs> Are you angling to play her in the uh, <laughs> in the biopic? <laughs> do you have a Dr. Ruth voice? Could you do it? I don't. I know. I don't know. Try it. And when you, when when you give a blow job, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know how she. I don't know how she talks. I actually have no idea. I didn't mean to accidentally sexually ha- harass you with trying to talk like Dr. Ruth. <laughs> if you're 
did you could have said that? something like, yeah, I went to a house. Yeah. <laughs> the door was locked. <laughs> but that was still a good impression, and I, I think you're a front runner for the role. I hope so. You know, cause they'll do the old age makeup for the, <laughs> the now parts, and you'll be the young Dr. Ruth. Perfect. When she was out there tearing it up. The penis! The penis! <laughs> <laughs> Randy, what was the last movie you saw? I feel like this is unfair because it's the, it's Godzilla because I was in it. She went to the premiere. I did not. I was not invited to the premiere. Oh. She just just went and snuck in like a you know I, so no one would know that one of the stars was there. I went to see it in IMAX because I wanted to see myself die in the biggest way possible. I like it. And uh, uh, did anybody recognize you? No. <laughs> Nobody's like, that guy that guy just died. No. Why are you alive? How did you do it? Um, can you give us an honest assessment of the film, even while, even while you're a, a part of it? Yeah, I liked it. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's very right. beautiful. Um, uh, especially on that huge screen. Um, but I don't know why the monsters have to fight all the time. Right? Is it just because they don't speak the same language? I, well, it's just like there's one who's like really bad, and he's like stirring up trouble with all of them, and he makes the rest of them fight each other, and it's like, guys, don't fight each other. He's the guy. <laughs> just he's, kill that one guy. He's and the one that's bad. If you guys would all happiness. just like get together and maybe like, you know, form a committee <laughs> to be like, maybe none of us will be his friend and that'll keep him from being so bad all the time. Well, I'm glad you have a but solution. But they don't, they don't settle it that way. They, they clearly don't they, listen. They murder each other and it's sad. They don't listen to the, uh, you know, the lead actors on the set telling him, uh, you know, how to fix this thing. So No, monsters you know. don't listen to humans. Oh, I meant the people making the movie didn't listen to you, but I, I get I get where you're where you're going, yeah. and I I uh, support it. Thank you. And I'm gonna sneeze, and it seems like I'm allergic to you and what we were talking about, <laughs> but it's you know that's just random, and I'm not gonna sneeze. I think it's because you said now you were gonna I, sneeze. Now that I talked about it a little bit, it yeah. went away. Well, the conversation ended, and then you stopped having to sneeze. That is a fun thing, though, to just say to somebody. If you have any conversation you want to get out of, hey, listen, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't know how soon it's gonna be, so I'm gonna turn away indefinitely. <laughs> I'm gonna turn away for a while, and then sneezing's probably gonna happen, so excuse me. Steve, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, God bless you. First off, thank you for the, the for the doing that ahead of time. Uh, I was on a flight and I downloaded this on my computer. I, I hadn't seen it since I was in college, and in college I watched it probably a thousand times. True Romance. I hadn't seen it forever. Interesting. And I just watched what's it. different about it for you now? Nothing. I loved it then, and I love it now. It was. I've yeah. never gotten over well a couple of things. Gary Oldman. You couldn't get past. It's weird. His yeah. whole thing with the uh, with the dreads and the weird the eye. cultural appropriation, Douglas. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, yes. I think that some a yeah. real Rastafarian with one weird eye should yeah. have gotten that role. But then also, <laughs> <laughs> also, I get uncomfortable with. I, I think it's a great movie, but I yeah. get uncomfortable with how violent it gets between James Gandolfini and uh, Patricia Arquette. It's so crazy because it's the, so it's visceral. Bad. It's yeah. Bad. yeah. But when I first moved to LA, the first place I went was the Safari Inn. Right? It's so it's such a cute, iconic yeah. thing. And then you remember, oh, this oh, is shit, where she got her ass handed to her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two thirty eight or something. Very yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. But uh but yeah, great movie. Just the, that fun tropical soundtrack through like kind of a badass gangster yeah. movie and yeah. I, I I will revisit that uh Time and time again. Thank, Thank you. you, Steve. Thank you. Thank for you not for, only that Thank moment, you for having you. such a better answer than our other guests. <laughs> Thank you. Do I get points for that already, or you don't get shit for that? All right, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, and in fact, I now I'm going to give the other guests points <laughs> for effort. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but I think we learned a lot in this yeah. uh, recent movie watching roundup. But here's the part of the show where I have to say, let the games begin. <laughs> you guys, uh, this is overwhelming, I know. <laughs> but there are six to seven or eight people who have fashioned some sort of tiny uh, movie poster. There's no big ones to choose from here tonight. Uh, but what I need each of you to do is just go select the one. You just go pick it? That's, yeah, just go grab it from them. The one that speaks to you the most. Kate is in hot and fast with her selection. Make sure you see them all. There's so many, so many to choose from. Oh, of course, Randy's going for the shittiest one. Kate, who are you playing for? For Casino Royale. Oh, that's fun. That's a good one. I like it. I like it. And the name is Casey. Yep. Okay. Randy, you've got someone's ID. Yeah, it came with a dollar. So I, I picked this one. So that's in your pocket already. I don't yep. see a dollar. No, it's, yeah, I took, I took that yeah, for smart. myself. Get that exchange over with. Uh, I'm playing for Nicholas Emmanuel Caradoyanis. Yeah. Okay. Um, and What's... he lives at... What's the birthday? Uh, he was born... Uh... <laughs> Don't do it. Stop. Stop saying that stuff. Do we need to bleep out he your address, quick. dude? Can people hear your address? He says, eh, who cares? It's a comedy show, so no one's going to believe it. He takes a great driver's license photo. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. What's his take? Just being handsome? He's just, he's just got, it's kind of beatific. Oh, wow. He's got kind of an angelic vibe going on so good i good got away you. with my uh, my idea i have a very angry face and i thought that'd be fun for like anybody that pulls me over to look at it and see me angry just in the photo and then look over at me and probably not as angry <laughs> in real life well congratulations dude you you, you fucking beat the system <laughs> with your bullshit id name tag and, and I hope you win tonight. <laughs> Steve, who you played for? <laughs> uh, Suburban Commando. Oh, Commando. Yeah. So what do you think the person's name is? Common. <laughs> Common rapper? is here tonight? Common the rapper is here, yeah. Oh, shit, he made a name tag? Yeah. That's exciting. I'd love to have him as a guest. Super excited. Yeah. Where, where'd you get that from? Whose is it? Oh, my, my right there. What's your name? Mondo. Your name is Mondo? Yeah. Wow. Fuck, I put the... I chose that's the wrong pretty sweet, that's, a, that's a pretty <laughs> sweet name, think. though, Mondo. Last name? Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking if Mondo was your last name, <laughs> but that's so funny that you said Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mondo Hernandez is in the house. That is like... You should be a reporter for Channel 2 in Los Angeles. Mondo Fernandez reporting. But uh, thanks, thanks for being here and congratulations on being chosen. I've got a series of games that you guys are going to have to play to determine a uh, winner tonight. Uh, and they'll get all the stuff that all of us brought for the prize bag. We're going to start with something called Alex's Jason and Deb's IMDb game. Uh, on the IMDb page of every actor, there's four things that they're most known for. According to IMDb, their algorithm is strange. Sometimes the actor themselves uh, signs up for IMDb Pro, and they get to pick the order and what's up there. Do you know what's in your top four, Steve? No clue. Probably Sullivan and Sons. Yeah. Uh, and then what else, you think? Now I want to look. <laughs> now I'm curious. I think okay. all four of you should think about your IMDb top four. <laughs> I think you need credits to have a top four. No, I that's the I amazing want. thing. I've got a top four, and it's like they list one thing that I didn't even know I was in. <laughs> Were you in Moonwalker? 
Uh, no, I might have a credit in Moonwalker because yeah. I was an assistant to Michael Jackson at the time. Uh, I know. <laughs> it was a weird job. Uh, okay, so uh, Steve, you're uh, best known for, they got four titles. Yeah. You're best known for Sullivan and Son. Yeah. Is number one. And then uh, you played d- Drunk Guy in Fuck yeah. Couples Retreat. Or at the Tempe Improv. <laughs> oh, you just you played it out there in real life. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you were uh, a, a dancer in Four Christmases. <laughs> yeah. And then your fourth uh, credit is uh, something called the the opening act that's in post production. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the thing we talked about. Me possibly being in. Yeah. Yeah. And I was busy doing bullshit. I wish wish I could have done it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a that's an impressive top four. Not really. Let's see who has let's see who has the best top four. Randy, <laughs> Havens. You gotta have Godzilla in there, right? I think so. What else is gonna be in there? Stranger Things. Yeah. It's maybe Instant Family. Oh yeah, that's a, that was a big movie. Um. And what's the fourth I, thing? I, I don't know what the fourth thing was. You be. were on Halt and Catch Fire. Oh yeah. You, you played Stan. What? There's a guy in the eyes going, yeah, Some, great job. Someone saw it. <laughs> yeah. It's a great show, but no one Everyone saw it. Everyone who saw Halt and Catch Fire loved it. Our friend uh, Scoot McNary, of course, is in it. He's one I of the Scoot. greatest actors uh, he going. Is. He really is. He yeah. really is so he's, underrated. He's such a great actor, nobody knows who he is. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's really been is. in every movie you've ever seen. Uh, all right. And Kate, what do you think? I maybe Garfunkel and Oates, the TV show. Maybe? Well, I hope so. Don't think twice. Oh yeah, maybe that. I would say that. Don't mm-hmm. think twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it for sure. Oh wow, your number one is When in Rome. <laughs> with that, our that friend sounds right. Kristen Bell. Yeah. And then oh, Steven Universe. Oh yeah. I'm a voice. Where you that. play Sadie Miller? Mm-hmm. Uh, Lego Batman movie where you're Clayface. I had one line. Yeah, well, how does Clayface sound when you do it? Hey, Batman, need any help? <laughs> That's like my one line in Lego Batman. <laughs> oh, my God. We all saw Clayface before our eyes when you did that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and then you are also uh, voicing uh, DuckTales. Oh, yeah. DuckTales is in your top four, yeah. So that's pretty cool. But we should say that currently people can see you in season three of Easy. Yeah. Yeah. That just came out. All right. So that's how this game works. I've explained it so much. Let's just skip to the next game. (laughs) So what you do is you buzz in with your own name. I'm going to start naming the best known for for a particular actor or actress. And you, when you think you know it, say your own name. And then uh, you get to guess. But if you're wrong, it's negative one point. So don't jump. So you're in gonna name too the, early. the four things. Yeah, but I'll name them slowly. So after the first one, you could jump in. You could buzz in early. But like, let's say the first one was Stranger Things. Well, like, who from Stranger Things? You might need to hear a second title. Right, you probably would before you can get there. And then, but anyone who gets in uh, early enough that there's remaining titles of the top four, you get bonus points for naming those. And we just okay. yell our name if we think we know it. Just yell it. <laughs> okay. Just shout it out loud and proud. Be the Kate Micucci you've always wanted to be. <laughs> if okay. I hear if I hear the clues though, and I think Kate might know it, can I yell her name? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, nice. you could totally okay. throw That's another good. player oh, under the great. bus by yelling their name. But I'm not gonna watch and you do have to sound like her when you say it. So you have to do, do you it. need you help, to, Kate? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, know, hey, Batman. That's exactly what she sounds like. <laughs> My name's Kate McGucci. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of Marge Simpson's sisters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Buzz in when you think you know it. Be careful. That's the that's the bottom line. Get some points, but be careful. And a theme will emerge. Like the names will start to uh, all have something in common. This first one though starts with 
the film Zero Dark Thirty. Then we go to a film called The Tree of Life. Jessica Chastain. Oh, sh- sh- Steve. What's your name? Steve. Sorry. Is, your name is not Jessica Chastain. <laughs> no, but sorry. <laughs> Steve says. Steve. Jessica Chastain. That is correct. Wow. You did it. In two. So you get one point for that, and there's two names rena- remaining. So you get to name two Jessica Chastain movies, and if they match for each one, you get a point. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, Molly's Game? And? Oh, shit. What else I... was she in? She's that lady that shows up. She's all like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, you can pass. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. But you did great because you got Molly's game. That's one. Yeah. And then also Interstellar. Fuck. What's your last one? But you're on the board with two points, Steve. First time player. Uh, well, wow. I think Mondo is. You're doing it. I'm doing it for Mondo. Doing it. It's, it's not, all it's for Mondo. Me. It's all about Mondo. Round two. First name, movie, title is Mad Max Fury Road. Then we've got the title About a Boy. Warm bodies. Uh, Randy. Oh, Nicholas. Randy. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Nicholas Holt. It's Nicholas Holt. That's right. Good job, Randy. That's one point for that. There's one title out there. If you could name one more Nicholas Holt movie. He's a chameleon. It's not easy to do. Uh, X-Men First Class. Ow! They listed X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, those fuckers. That was that was an, that was another one. But you're still on the board, Randy, and you still have one point. Third round. There's seventy two rounds. <laughs> Third round. So far, we've got Jessica Chastain and Nicholas Holt. Third round starts with the movie Shame. Then the movie Prometheus. Randy. Here comes Randy. It's Michael Fassbender. That is right. Fassbender Bonder. Randy gets another point, plus two more potential points. If you can name two more. Okay, so other things that he's Fassbender um, joints. Uh... Uh, the Snowman. <laughs> oh, great guess. One more. Um, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh, shit. They went with X-Men First Class. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck you, IMDB! <laughs> and, That's uh, fucking bullshit. <laughs> and the other one, they went with uh, Steve Jobs. Steve, oh, yeah, he Stevie played, Jobs. played Stephen Jobs. Mm-hmm. All right, so Randy's got two. Steve's got two. We're going into round four. Good luck, Kate. Thanks. Chastain, Holt, and Fassbender. Round four starts with Split. Randy. This is real. This is happening. (laughs) James McAvoy. That is correct. Randy's running away with this shit. All you need to do, Randy, is nothing to win. (laughs) But go ahead and guess on some more uh, James McAvoy movies. Uh, Glass. Um, Keep going. uh, Fucking (laughs) X-Men. Days of Future Past. <laughs> Keep going. One more. Um, uh, 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 was he in The Last King of Scotland? <laughs> that, 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 that one is correct. Last King of Scotland. But the other two that they named for McAvoy are uh, Atonement and Filth, which probably should be in the other order. The, the other, the other yeah, way do, around. Do filth first. Filth and then Atonement. Yeah. yeah. And then... 
But here's a tiebreaker just for laughs. Jump in when you know it. Hunger Games, Silver Linings Playbook. Kate. Kate. Okay. Oh. Jennifer Lawrence? Yes. Oh, you were about to say yeah. it. You were and nice. He was being very nice. All five of those people were uh, are, of course, in Dark Phoenix in theaters now, apparently. <laughs> I've heard no one's interested anymore, and it's not working out so great for them. But uh, I'll give them one last plug and, uh, and a kick in the stomach before playing our next game. Oh, so congratulations, Randy. You won that game. Thank you. That means you get to go first in whose tagline is it anyway? In this game, I'm going to say the tagline from a motion picture to Randy. He's going to guess what movie it's from. Of all movies, this is not easy at all. And then if he gets it wrong, we'll go to Kate, and then we'll go to Steve. And uh, like I said, these are not easy, so don't beat yourself up. But a theme will emerge that will eventually make you beat yourself up. (laughs) Ready, Randy? Yep. Go for it. That's the tagline. <laughs> Go for it. What movie had the nerve <laughs> to think that was a tagline? Uh, the movie Go. Oh, I like that. They might as well call the movie Go For It. <laughs> Kay, what do you think it is? Uh, true Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Go For It. <laughs> Steve? Philadelphia? Oh! I can't believe how close you are. What? It's Rocky Five. <laughs> So damn close to Rocky Five. (laughs) All right, let's go to Randy again for this new one, but everybody else will get a chance if Randy can't figure it out. What movie had the tagline, The Adventure Continues? So there's a movie that was some sort of adventure, and then somehow it continues. I have no idea, but uh, Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins, and the tagline is... Did you say, did you say Rainbow Williams? Remo. Remo, Remo Williams. Remo. Uh, it was Fred Ward's mm-hmm. biggest film. Well... It okay. didn't, didn't work out for him. Yeah. It was, he was a hero It was going to be a franchise, or a, yeah. it was a tentpole, and it, didn't, it no. turned out to be a tadpole. Yeah. Uh, Kate... Rocky Four? Oh, I like the way you play. <laughs> Steve? So when you say tagline, it's on the poster, right? It's yeah, like yeah, marketing. or on some uh, sort of advertisement on the trailer. I think just Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Oh, that's a terrific guess. Uh, so close, but yet so far, far away. Oh, uh, it's Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Wow. Yeah. And you guys to see what ha- what's happening now, what a, right? What a great movie to have such a shitty tagline. <laughs> well, you know, what else do you need to say, you know? Go for it. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's the film that introduced I, Yoda, so I guess the tagline could have been, the adventure continues, it does. <laughs> Randy, what movie had the tagline? Feel the speed, feel the rush. If it helps you to repeat it back off mic, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, BMX Bandits. (laughs) Kate? Uh, Why can't I think of the name of these movies? uh, The racing movies. uh, mm, I don't know. Tell Uh, us the name of one of those racing movies. Yeah, no, the ones with the the people. uh, (laughs) All you gotta do is say it. It's 
it's the one with all the sequels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it called? I'll just go with Rush Hour. Uh, <laughs> Steve. Hotel Rwanda. Oh, so, again, how do you do it? Fuck. So close all the time. Fast Five. Fast uh, Five. That was you were, you, were, you were right there. It was right on the tip yeah, of your brain. Yeah, she was right on the brink of it. I didn't think of it, though. All right. But who would have picked, like, the fifth one? Well, <laughs> I don't know. We've got Rocky Five, Star Wars Five, Fast Five. Here's the next one, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> what movie had the tagline the defining chapter <laughs> Freddy's dead the final nightmare wow. no okay wow. uh, <laughs> I, I'm thinking of like is there a movie about the bible and there's like one last chapter <laughs> I don't know it's the fifth the fifth movie about the Bible. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Steve? Jason goes to hell. Oh, you have such great guesses that are never right. <laughs> it's the Hobbit, the battle of the five armies. Five armies. Five. All right, we got Rocky Five. We got Star Wars Five. Fast Five. Battle of Five Armies. Randy, if you don't get this one, I'm going to jump over this table. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. No, I'm but I, I've not always wanted it. to jump over this table. Okay, all right. Well, in that case. Yeah. What movie had the tagline? Look out, partners. There's a new mouse in town. Uh, an American tale, Fievel goes west. That is correct. <laughs> That was a real squeaker, but you pulled that one out, Randy. Was that the fifth Shoosh. one? Were there five? No, it's no. just five. They just have five in the name. It's just oh. most of them were the yeah, fifth. Yeah, all of them had five the word five all. in the title. Five all. Got it. Five all goes west. I believe it was the second film in that franchise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, because also uh, that Hobbit movie was not the fifth in that series. Because there's only three Hobbit movies. But let's play Last Man Stanton to figure out the winner tonight. Now, I, I didn't have a chance today. It was a busy day. I was spent most of the afternoon getting really high on the internet. So um, did someone, anybody reach out to me here tonight about having a good suggestion for uh, Last Man Stanton? Raise your hand if, if you did and you didn't hear back from me. What's your name, dude? Nick, that's, and what's your... I think your... that's Nicholas Emmanuel Cardellanes. <laughs> oh, it's Nick who's, uh, you've got, you know, you've got a dog seven, in this zero. hunt because your name tag slash ID uh, got chosen. So, uh, you know, this is unusual, but I'm, I'm going to accept it because none of us know what name you're going to say. You haven't colluded in any way. No collusion. No collusion. Uh, what's your suggestion, Nick? Elizabeth Banks. Elizabeth Banks. That's interesting. Let me write that down in the maybe someday <laughs> category. No, I'll, I'll give it serious consideration. I'm looking at the panel. They don't seem big on Elizabeth Banks movies. Is there somebody over here this way that had one, had a good one? This gentleman Michelle up Pfeiffer. front. Oh, I like that. Michelle Pfeiffer. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the films of Elizabeth Banks or Michelle Pfeiffer. I like to play along, so I'll, I will participate as well. We'll start with Randy, then it goes to Steve, then to me, then to Kate. If you can't think of one, you're out. Either actress, uh, but you have a lifeline. You can go to Mondo once, Steve. Okay. Uh, you can go to Nick if you want. Uh, Randy and Kate. Who can you go to? Casey. 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 No, Royale. Wait, her her name's Royale. Casey. Casey. <laughs> Casey. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Roy Royale. <laughs> <laughs> Just correcting people all day long. 
<laughs> uh, okay, so uh, who do I say is going first? Randy? Yeah. Start us off with a film that features either EB, Elizabeth Banks, or MP, Michelle Pfeiffer. The Fabulous Baker Boys. We're going with a, a Michelle Pfeiffer movie out of the gate. I saw that movie recently on cable when I couldn't sleep one night. It's really good. Nothing happens in it, but it's really good. <clears throat> Steve? Uh, Walk of Shame. Yes, the uh, made-for-HBO motion picture uh, starring and directed by Elizabeth Banks. So, yeah. yeah, might have been Elizabeth Banks' joint. Might as well get this out of the way early on. Uh, pitch Perfect. Yeah. It's funny, she and, uh, 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 what's his name, Michael Higgins, they like play the commentators in uh, Pitch Perfect, and uh, now they both have TV game shows that they host. Yeah. They really pigeonholed themselves. <laughs> Kate? Into a lucrative network contract. <laughs> right, but his is with GSN and hers is with ABC. Oh, There's a little bit of a, yeah. Uh, but go ahead there, Kate. Uh, Dangerous Minds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a great Pfeiffer. Remember that music video? Mm hmm. Nice. That was good. <laughs> Coolio. Yeah. yeah. Coolio. Randy? Scarface. Scarfacha! <laughs> Steve? Uh, the Amazing Spider Man. Uh huh. Who's in there? Elizabeth Banks. She was the secretary. She Thanks. was? Yeah. Okay. You don't remember? Mm -mm. Brunette. She was a brunette in that, and she had bangs. Oh. Is this the Andrew Garfield one? Uh, the uh, Tobey Maguire one. Wait. I don't think that one's called Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, see, that's Fuck. where it, that's right, hence the confusion. Sorry, Commando. No, you don't, you don't have to bail that early. You could go, oh. to, you go to Mondo for help on this, or you could redact your answer and say something smarter. I would redact my answer. Okay. And go with... say, uh, One Fine Day. Oh. Wow. Michelle Pfeiffer and George Clooney. Yeah. Excellent. You know, another way any of you could have gone was Pitch Perfect 2. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. All right, so back to Kate. Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune. Yeah, I think it's just Frankie and Johnny in the movie. Oh, it isn't the full yeah, title. Yeah. But you saw the Broadway and Then I had version. to look it up, and then I read that she was in it. Didn't see the movie. Audra McDonald and Michael Shannon yeah. are doing it on Broadway. It's incredible. They're like completely naked at the beginning? Yep. It's wild, right? Yeah. I well, saw that show dark. with Stanley Tucci and um, uh, Nurse Jackie. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh -huh. I bet that was good. I'm sorry, Carmela Soprano. <laughs> <laughs> Edie Falco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw it with those two, and they were like just laying there naked for the first like ten minutes of the play. I was like, I don't know how I feel to feel about this. <laughs> it just feels like a real invasion of privacy, but it's good, right? I love the play. Cool. Um, where are we at? Is it me or Randy? It's me. Okay, Randy. Batman Returns. Oh, good indeed. She's in the she's the top two. I said this last time her name came up. Maybe top five cat women. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good ones. Halle Berry was great at it. All the TV cat women's were great. <laughs> Eartha Kitt. Lee Merriweather. <laughs> What's her name from uh, Dr. No? Ursula Andress. All right. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh. Good one. <clears throat> oh, that's right. My turn. Okay. Didn't want to have to do this with Pitch Perfect 3. <laughs> no. No. It's really going hard. <laughs> Dang it. 
Kate? I feel like a real idiot because I'm already tapped out. I don't. I might need to use no. my no, lifeline. No, it's this is tough. It's a lot of pressure. But go to your lifeline. Maybe it'll help uh, you. think of something Thanks, later. Thanks, Casey. What can you give me? What? Wet Hot American Wet Summer. Hot American Summer. You know, yeah. I was—I th- couldn't remember if it was the TV show or the actual movie because I, I was picturing her in that. But both, yeah, she's in the movie things. for sure. Randy, mother. I, you can't <laughs> just call out for your mother. Yes, <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> um, who was in that? Michelle Pfeiffer. She was in Mother. Yeah. Oh, that's right. With she Ed, Ed Harris. Harris. Yeah. Let me go quick. I have to write the exclamation point. That's, yeah, I'm sorry. Mother! I didn't, I didn't That's why I didn't recognize it, because it. it didn't have say the with exclamation enough point when you said it. You were just like, mother. No, it's mother! Steve? Uh, Zach and Miri make a porn. Oh, they sure do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to set you guys up, and I hope you appreciate it. The Hunger Games. Kate. The Hunger Games Part 2. Yeah. What else would you Go have to say it. about that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Uh, you already went to your lifeline, right? Yes, I, yeah, yeah, that's it, I think. I, well, it's not necessarily it if you want to take one more stab at do you want to change it up or, or really, try that I, one again? I, sound, I don't think I have one. I'm, I'm blanking. Yeah, Hunger those, Games those Hunger Games are tricky. Part two. <laughs> part two. Um, all right. But thank you for playing. Thank you for, for, for having me. <laughs> Randy? Grease 2. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Steve? Tequila Sunrise? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was like, that was like my fucking back pocket one, man. That was so awful. back pocket. Uh, I got a couple of back pockets at this point, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with What Lies Beneath. Wow. With H. Ford. Back to you, Randall. I gotta use my lifeline. I gotta go to okay. my man Nicholas Let's go Emmanuel to Nicholas. Cardellanis. He suggested one of these names, so he should be helpful. Yeah, hopefully. Love and mercy. Love and, and mercy. mercy. Wow. I don't even know if that's is that what, Michelle oh, Pfeiffer. Uh, no, E. Banks is in that with. Uh-huh. She's John Cusack's love interest. Is and he's old Brian. Uh, <coughs> what's his name from, from Wilson from uh, Beach Boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good movie. That was a good movie. I like yeah. that movie. We liked it. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Uh, so where does that put us? Steve? Spider-Man 2? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I can't argue with it. Oh, oh, remember she was in a movie, Elizabeth Banks was in a movie called Man on the Ledge. Or was it a ledge? It was alleged. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Randy? Great question. <laughs> um, You've gone to your lifeline. What yeah. did he suggest? Oh, Love and Mercy? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Do you, yep. know, do you know the names of any of the Hunger Games sequels? No. No, I don't. They're tricky. Um. Yeah, no, I'm tapped. I promise. Like today, I visited a kid in the hospital. And I promised that Steve Byrne wouldn't win tonight. <laughs> so I really, I really need you to pull something out. Invincible. <laughs> oh, with Mark Invincible Wahlberg. with Mark Wahlberg, and his character's name is Vince. <laughs> Such a corny ass title. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is correct. Um, okay, let's keep going. You and me, Steve. Oh, sure. uh, yeah, I mean, you won, but I want to. I still want to take you down. Uh, I'm gonna say um, 
Uh, I, I get the Hunger Games titles all fucked up uh, <laughs> myself, so I'm going to go Pfeiffer and say Hairspray. Mm. Yeah. Steve? Spider-Man 3. Son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go with... Um, oh, wait, I'm out anyway because of that man on the ledge thing. But let, for fun, let's say... Um, Michelle Pfeiffer was in Dark Shadows. Mm. (laughs) Spider-Man. Wait, we didn't say the first one? Nope, we started with two. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Randy, keeping track of that shit. Very. Steve's very tricky. He's very tricky. Took a lap around. Mm. Okay, Michelle Pfeiffer was in Into the Night. With Mon- Jeff Goldblum. Mondo? He's the going Baxter. to Mondo. The Baxter? Who's in that? Oh, Elizabeth Banks. Great job. Thank you. That was a nice Elizabeth Banks pull. But yeah, so I'm just going to call it because I'm, I'm already out anyway, so I don't know why I keep going. What did we miss? 40-year-old virgin. 40-year-old virgin, of course. Oh. Oh. Role model. Hunger Games, oh, Catching I Fire, know. Mockingjay, one and two. I, I am to Sam. I know, there was a <laughs> She's in Brightburn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which she's one? The, she's the mom. She's the mom. That's Elizabeth right. Banks is? Yeah. I, I haven't seen it, but. <laughs> well, she. Sh- <laughs> it's shush. fine. Shush, we love James Gunn. Um, all right, so, uh, so Steve is our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> I think we're all winners. We're all winners. You won for, we all? for Mondo. Come get your prizes, Mondo. Congratulations. You sign the poster? We got, some very, got a very heavy bottle. Yeah, I'll sign the poster. Do you want everybody to sign it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Greedy. <laughs> we'll all sign this for you, even though it's just only got my face on it. But come on down here. Let's hear from Mondo, everybody. There you go. What's up? Hi. Come get your... Uh, Congratulations. I didn't know what to expect, Mondo. <laughs> Still not quite sure. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. But there's, So there's the bag full of stuff. Be careful with that because it's kind of heavy and the bottom might drop out. And I didn't put this in the bag, this big bottle. Because, you, you know, it's be- you're better off just walking down the street waving that around. <laughs> Look what I've got, everybody. Uh, but congratulations. Did we all sign it? Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. And let's uh, let's do some plugs. What do you got to plug, Kate? Um, uh, yeah, next Tuesday I'll be at Largo with a bunch of really cool uh, singers who... Inara George, who's an awesome singer-songwriter, wrote a musical about the birth control pill. And it's really awesome. It's the second time we're doing it at Largo on Tuesday the 18th. Neat. Ow, ow. And what are your uh, social media handles? Just my name, at Kate Micucci, on Twitter and Instagram. Just No it's... Facebook? Not really. I never go on there anymore. Am I supposed to? <laughs> I don't know. I don't mess with it, but yeah. I feel like I should. It seems dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always great to have you. Thank Thanks you for, for having being me. Here. It was fun. Thank, Thank you, you Kate Micucci. These first timers, oh boy, Randy Havens, you did a great job tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Solid Thanks. competitor. Thanks. Funny dude. What do you got to plug? Uh, well, I'm in a little show. It comes out uh, July 4th. Uh, it would really help me out a lot if you guys would watch it. It's called Stranger Things. <laughs> it's released on July 4th. It's released on July 4th. I am so excited. Like, there's usually never an option other than like standing in a field watching fireworks and going, ooh and ah. Uh, I want to just stay at home and stare at a phone and binge watch exciting television. Yeah. All right, I'm in. That's what we all should do. Thank you. And don't so, go out anymore, guys. And Stop. You, don't, you don't want to plug Godzilla anymore? Yeah, sure. Go see that, too. Uh, but, th- again, the monsters fight a lot. So, so if you're not, if you're not, in, in mind. If you're not into fighting and you're more into, like, logical discussions about, like, the way that we should do things, 
Um, it might not be the movie for you. What but do if you, you like? But if, you, but if you're into like violence and like um, fighting, then. Um, what do you see if you like a movie with monsters who get along, like Monsters University? Monsters Inc. I think probably would be about monsters that get they along. get along in Monsters Inc. Yeah. I thought Steve Buscemi's monster didn't get along with Mike and Sully. Well, they work. They still work to, you know, they have to like work together. Okay. So they're workplace. So enemies. they might, you know, they might be a little like, oh, that Steve Buscemi monster is a real jerk. But they, they're not going to hit What him. about where the wild things are? Those are all friendly monsters. Yeah. They, I mean, they're a little scary, but, uh, but they do just, you know, talk and hang out with each other. All right. Well, I'm going to come up with more and uh, come at the you view. later. <laughs> The View. Wow. See, Steve wow. came up with a great long. example of the scariest, wow. scariest Sorry. monsters. Wow. Steve, what do you got to uh, uh, plug? Promote yourself. Uh, the Amazing Jonathan doc is on YouTube. <laughs> Always amazing. You can check it out. And uh, I wrote and directed a feature film that'll come out early 2020 about my early years in stand-up called The Opening Act. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Thank you for being here, dude. Great Thank job. Thank you. So fun. It's been a while. Thank you to our longtime home, UCB Franklin. I'm excited to say that uh, they're doing the uh, UCB is doing the Dill Close Marathon uh, towards the end of uh, July, and uh, I'm happy to say that we're going to do a Douglas Movies uh, episode during that. So hopefully you guys could come out and please, please, please come to my show this Sunday afternoon, Father's Day in Fort Worth, Texas, where people clearly care more about their fathers. They do about coming to my sticking show. And we need to turn that around. And we've only got a few days to do it. <laughs> One more time for all of my guests. Kate McCucci. <laughs> Randy Randy Havens. I already forgot his sexy last name. Randy Havens. And Steve Byrne, everybody. As always, positive energy. Now it's time for Doug to watch another talkie. Eyes of gold, his viewing prowess makes him cocky. There's no room.